guys welcome back okay so today i wanted to do a quick video talking about this new amore us fancy you palette this is what she looks like very pretty has this gorgeous teal packaging and what looks like kind of like a bejeweled necklace on the front very very pretty and as you can see it is a nice size palette now on the website, this is retailing for $17. It is brand spanking new. They came out with two palettes. I think Fancy Me and Fancy You. <laughs> so I picked up the Fancy You because the color scheme in here spoke to me more than the other one. Now these palettes have mirrors inside, which is really nice. And these are the colors that are in this palette. It has a very bold bright kind of bejeweled look to it as you can see the pans have you know some different shapes to them kind of giving you the vibe of jewels but very bold bright matte shades in here and some gorgeous shimmers as well but as you can see you get a bronzer a blush and some highlighting shades down here so now for me <laughs> I always forget to use like the highlight blush and bronzer in eyeshadow palettes because when I pick up an eyeshadow palette, I'm not thinking about using it on my face. So, of course, I forgot to use those today, <laughs> but I will swatch them for you. But yeah, this is what she looks like. Like I said, $17. She is cruelty-free, vegan, and has a 24-month shelf life, which is not bad at all. So... Um, let me go ahead and do some swatches and I'll kind of give you some of my thoughts, first impression on this palette because some things I really like about it and other things I'm like, eh. So let's go ahead and do some swatches and then <laughs> we'll talk. Okay, so I think how I'm going to do the swatches is I'm just going to go row by row. So I'm going to do the top next, next, and then next. So that's how I'm going to do the swatches. So these are the first two rows. are the last two rows from here on is the bronzer the blush and the two highlights so that's what the second two rows look like so those are all the swatches for this palette you guys what I will say is for my first impression of this palette I think that the pressed pigment shades like the ones I used today this purple this red I did use this kind of Cheeto yellow orange shade today and I did use this green I, as you can see I used a lot of colors on my lid um very pigmented very nicely pigmented I will say that about the shades that I did use as far as the shimmers go I used this one here on my lid and quite honestly it wasn't as <sighs> amazing as I hoped it would be because when you swatch it as you guys saw it is a gorgeous gorgeous shade when you swatch it and I don't know maybe you know if I use my finger or something I would like it better on my eyes um it just looks darker in the pan than it does as you can see when you put it on your eyes so i expected this really dark rich like emerald type green and it came off more like the color of the palette <laughs> if, if you know what i mean so it's not an ugly or 
bad shade at all. It's very pretty. It just didn't come off to me how it looks in the pan. And it's, you know, probably just because you when you actually use the shadow or swatch it or whatever, this is the true color. So it's gorgeous, just not what I thought it was going to be for this look today. Um, I did use this shade here in my inner corner. And as you can see, it's a very nice shadow. It popped very nicely beautiful and bright i love the shimmer of that shadow so what i will say is for the shadows that i use today the darker richer colors the purple the red the greens and stuff they are nicely pigmented very very pretty i didn't have any issues blending out my um crease the purple the red and this color here this yellow blended together very nicely the jury's still out on this yellow. I did use a little bit of it on my lid because I wanted to kind of add those colors into my cut crease as well. And when I was building it up, it built up a little, but not as much as I would like. So it's not a horrible shade, but it's not amazing either. So those are just my first impression thoughts. I definitely need to use this palette again because... I just have mixed thoughts about it, if that makes sense. So um, yeah, first impression, I think it's a decent palette. It's not bad. I don't have anything like truly negative to say about it, um, but I do want to play in it some more to get a better feel of it. So anyways, let's go ahead and jump into how I created this look today. Mm -hmm. 